Let me introduce you to your guest judge, Nikki Tutorial. Hello, darlings, I'm back. Surprise, surprise. Nikki is an icon of the beauty community. Do it. Oh my God, what? Working with high profile celebs such as Megan Thee Stallion and Kim Kardashian, to name just a few. Guess who I'm here with, guys? Nikki's personal story, warm personality, and eye for transformations have captured the hearts and inspired the careers of wannabe MUAs across the globe. Oh my God! <laughs> my mind is just. <laughs> I'm so excited to meet you, and I can't wait to see what you do in today's creative brief. Today's creative brief is all about reinvention and renewal. We want you to create a transformative look that utilizes an element of reusing and recycling. Turn your trash into treasure. MUAs, you'll have two and a half hours to reinvent yourself. The time starts now. Welcome back. Thanks for having Little cheers, me. Val. So welcome I am back so to the so ding dong, darling. My look today is reusing parts of a cosplay I wore last year. The character is this punk singer in my favourite anime. My look is inspired by a robot, like a dance robot. So my first step is to block out the brows, just because I want a blank canvas. So everyone's blocking brows, huh? One. Two, three, four block rows. I'm a little afraid that we're going to have a lot of similar looks today. I'm a uni student. Because of limited funds, I end up just seeing what I have around the house. So this isn't too out of the ordinary for me. Ella, whoa, Hi. oh my gosh, you have so much on already. You went straight in. <laughs> oh yeah, I was not messing about. It's inspired by my granddad. He passed away a few years ago and I've still not really got over it. He was a photographer, so oh. I'm creating little film photo bits over my face, and he taught me how to draw. So I'm recreating like a drawing on my face and using pieces of his shirts as well. When I was in school, I was heavily bullied. I was wearing a mask to try and hide who I was. So I'm actually gonna be wearing the fabric from my prom dress and creating a warrior from it. The warrior that I'm depicting today is sort of how I, I attack everything in my life, because if I'm not confident in myself, who else is going to be confident in me? What is your reinvention look? So as a child, I used to play with hot glue on my bedroom floor carpet. I'm and sure your parents loved that. Yeah, my mother <laughs> loved it. So I wanted to take that kind of idea of hot glue, craftiness, DIY, and bring it into a more fashion-forward look. Robot! Yes. Yes. It's mind-boggling you're here. And without filters. <laughs> you look the same. Oh, say it again. <laughs> you look stunning. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my hand won't stop shaking. What is happening? I'm doing this graphic eye at the moment. I can tell. One wobble and you're over. <laughs> it is just taking each individual element one, at a time. One line at a one time. One line at a time. I'll leave you to your lines. Thank you so much. Hello. Hello. That is a bright mood board, honey. It's the rosy maple moth, which is that one. Yeah. But oh, I it's a moth. Of, so I thought that the moth reinvents itself completely, you know? Have you undergone a transformation yourself? I think I've had a lot of different transformation in terms of character. Mm -hmm. Just knowing who you are. I mean, being trans as well. There's definitely, <laughs> there's definitely an element of that. Mm -hmm. And it's great to have role models that, that tell you that it isn't a negative. Exactly. Um, so it's just, it's lovely to meet you in person. Aww, and likewise. <laughs> hey. You kind of look like a mime right now. And with that, an hour and a half has gone MUAs and you have one hour left and there is no room for error. Oh, damn. Which means you got no time to waste. Please come forward, Finley.
I love that you're being resourceful, but I find it a bit sad that you're hiding so much of all that hard work that you put in. You were blending away those colors and they kind of get covered by these wings and the wig. I loved the way you laid down that silver and you got your contour in there and your shadows. This was so much stronger before you glued all that hot pan down. The cheeks are not for me, babes. <laughs> I absolutely adore the tartan lip. You've placed one piece of leather right on the lash line. And what that has done is weighed Both down the, the eye. But when I zoom out and really look at it, it feels like a very, very clean look with appliques. Yeah. Which it is, essentially. Yeah, exactly. But I would have loved to see more makeup. Mm. There's so much detail going on in here that if I would look back at this in two days, I would find something new to like drool over. <laughs> this is literal art. And if there's one thing I'm sure of is that granddad is so proud of you. The fact that you did this with less time than the others. Oh, okay. She said, I'm not playing games today. I have nothing but love for this look.